Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is construct binary retrieve from pre-order and in-order traversal. Given pre-order and in-order traversal of a tree, construct the binary tree. So it also says that you may assume that duplicates do not exist in the tree. For example, we'll be given these two traversals, the pre-order and in-order traversal in the form of a integer array. And we have to return the tree node that is the root of the binary tree. So, so this question is a combination of um, arrays and trees. And if we talk about the different approaches that we can take to solve any question on trees, it definitely involves recursion. And uh, this question is a example of recursion as well, because we would need to keep building the subtrees uh, after we identify the root of the subtree, uh, and then use recursion to build the subtree of that one as well and so on until we derive a final answer right so uh, recursion is definitely going to be applicable but some working knowledge of the traversal techniques would come in handy for this question because uh, with pre-order it has a property that for any tree if you uh, write down the pre-order traversal of the binary tree the first element will always represent the root of the tree. Okay, um, And in order, as we know, that uh, in order is like left, root, and right. So if we are able to identify and find that root from the pre-order and find it in in order, right? so then we will know that whatever is to the left of this element in the in order traversal is the left subtree of this node. And whatever is to the right is the right subtree. So we will use the combination of these two properties to get to our solution here. Uh, also, since we will be, uh, there will be many instances where we will be trying to like find this element, for example, here three, we know by the property of pre-order traversal that it is the root of the tree. We will try to find the this three in, in order to be able to find its left and rights, right? So because we'll be doing that frequently, we rather than traveling through in order every for every element that we want to look up to, uh, we will just basically create a hash map, which will tell us the index at which this element can be found in in order. OK, so let's get started. So since we'll be using this hash map in the recursive function as well, we are just um, declare it outside the build tree method. Okay. Hash map. Sorry. Okay. And uh, yeah, fine. So we just have to do a simple for loop. On the in order traversal. Okay. And I plus plus. And just put the element. Okay. And the index. That's it. So we just built a kind of a index for the elements in in order. Okay. Now we will. use our recursive function here. So we'll just give it pre-order, the in-order, and then um, the, the segment of in-order traversal that needs to be solved. So right now, the entire tree needs to be uh, built, right? That is why we want the entire in-order um, traversal array. Uh, during the recursion, whenever we would be, for example, if we'll be arriving at 20, Right, so 15, 17, this is the tree that 20 builds, right? 15 and 17 are its children. So at that time, the uh, the start and the end indexes would be the indexes of 15 and 7, right? But right now, since we're just beginning, so we just have to, oh, sorry, in order dot length minus 1. All right, so, um, also, we will be starting the from the index from which we'll be starting in pre-order will be zero, 
right so we'll also take that index and declare it over here okay so now we um, this will return us the tree node right okay tree node um, build and we'll be getting tree order in order this start and end okay cool so at any point in time th there there will be some base conditions so at any point in time if this goes more than end then we have like reached a leaf node a dead end we just want to return null from here okay otherwise let's create the root node right so we just have to get the value from the pre order traversal so what we do is that just use pre index and we also increment it for the next time right we want to move ahead so we incremented that okay so we have the root now now if in case the root is null we just return null right <clears throat> also if the start is equal to end right because this is possible because for example in case of 15 and 7 that will happen that the start would be equal to end and in those cases we just want to return the root right we just want to return the node that we have just formed so you just return the root okay otherwise we'll find the left and right and for that we need the index first right so we'll just say that index equals to hm the hash map that we created above dot get root dot value so we just find the index of the value of the root node right yeah and then the left would be Tree order in order is the same and so the left would be whatever the index is so from the start to the index minus one right this chunk would be the left right so we'll just have to use start as is whatever this function got and index minus one okay and then similarly root dot right would be reorder in order and index plus one the other side of this and end okay and then we just simply have to return root yeah okay that looks good let's see that works Okay. Works. So the time complexity for this is O of n because we're just traveling through both the arrays once. But the space complexity would be O of n as well because we're using recursion and the recursion stack has a O of n space complexity. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding. Take care, guys.